This tutorial is for adding or correcting deployments using a reference data file. A deployment is defined by a tag assigned to an animal over a specified period of time. It's important to set deployments because deployments are how MoveBank recognizes which location data records are part of a valid track and which were collected before the tag was placed on an animal or after it was removed. Sometimes while importing or organizing data in your study, deployments are mistakenly assigned or are not assigned at all and must be manually corrected or created. Use these steps to check your current deployment information and update it if needed. From the studies page, go to download, download reference data. Make sure that you select CSV and include attributes currently in the study if you only want what's in the study or if you'd like to expand the attributes, for example, to add animal mass or sex or some tag information, click include all move bank attributes and that'll give you all the attributes that are currently available. Click download and this will give you a table of all of the reference data, deployment, animal, and tag information that are currently in the study. This table acts as a backup in case something unexpected happens when you update the study. It contains one row for each deployment and an additional row for any unassigned tags or animals that don't have deployment information associated with them. In this table, it's usually easy to see if there are any unwanted tag or animal IDs that have been added or if tag or animal IDs are not linked together by deployments. These are usually located at the bottom of the file. Before you start making any changes to this table, you'll want to first convert the deploy on and off timestamps back to MoveBank standard format. Highlight those two columns, and then on the home menu in the number section, select more number formats, custom, and then start typing in the MoveBank standard date format, year, 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 hyphen, month, month, hyphen, day, day, space, hour, hour, colon, minute, minute, colon, second, second, period, zero, 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 and then click OK. And that'll just ensure that your timestamps don't get corrupted when you save this as a CSV again. You can now make any additional changes that you like. You could assign animals to tags. You could change a date. You could add additional attributes such as animal sex. You can correct a misspelling. You can also add new tags or fill in taxon information. Once you have completed your reference data to your satisfaction, hit File and Save As, and then save this as a new file. That way, you still have your backup file if you need it in the future. Once you have filled out the reference data table as completely as you are able, you'll need to re-import it to your study. Select Upload, Import Data, then select Reference Data about animals, tracking tags, or deployments. Then you'll need to select Use MoveBank Standard Reference Data Format. If you have your own reference data file you want to import, there is an option to use a custom format. However, we recommend using files in MoveBank Standard Format whenever possible. Click Choose File, then select your updated CSV file. Finally, click Upload. If the file you are uploading contains only new records, uncheck the Replace Existing box to append the new data to the existing data in MoveBank without changing any existing records. If you wish to update existing records, make sure this box remains checked and make absolutely certain that the file being uploaded contains both the records you wish to update and the rest of the records contained in the study. Leaving this box checked overwrites all of the reference data that are currently in the study and replaces them with the data in the file. There is currently no option to update select records without overwriting all of the existing records, so be sure your existing reference data file is backed up before you proceed. If you have used MoveBank standard reference format, the attributes should already be mapped for you. 
but you may want to double check that everything looks correct and make any adjustments if needed. If everything looks OK, click Finish and then OK. Then select Manage Tags and Deployments to check that everything looks correct and to approve or reject any changes to deployments flagged by the Deployment Manager. This is also a good time to look for any errors that may still be in your reference data. For example, these arrows indicate the first and last data points associated with this tag, but MACA's deployment happens before that time period, so there is no data in this deployment. I may want to review my reference data file again and correct these timestamps. Here are some examples of error messages you might receive if there's a problem with your file. If you receive an error message of any kind or if your file fails to import, review the error message for information that may be important to keep in mind when you review your reference file. After a failed upload, open your file and review the information to look for anything that might have caused the import to fail, such as formatting errors, conflicting deployments, or timestamp issues. When you've made all of your corrections, attempt your import again. If it continues to fail, or you continue to run into problems and you can't work through them, or you get an error message like the one on the left that's sort of incomprehensible, feel free to contact support at movebank.org for assistance. For more information on importing reference data, you can view the user manual sections for reference data and upload quality control. For any questions or support needs, contact us at support at movebank.org.